If in doubt, make it up. Just absolutely make it up. If in doubt, make it up. Yeah. Once upon a time, in a wee land not so far from here, an unusually intelligent couple were out for a drive. Sally, whose IQ alone has its own national insurance number, was having a bit of trouble with her downstairs. Oh, Peter, I'm rather afraid I need to go again. Now, Sally, are you sure it's not just another fart? No, Peter, I really need to go. In fact, I believe I'm going to have a little shit. Well, Sally, you see and hold that little shit in until we get you to somewhere suitable. We have to make sure that little shit's delivered in the best place possible. Without hesitation, the clever couple rushed to the nearest inn. The proud innkeeper showed them to a suitable spot to let nature take its course. Might as well have a little squeeze myself, Sal. I'd give it a while if I were you, Peter. And so it came to pass that Sally had a little shit. Similar little shits were being delivered all over the country that year. But one lucky couple in Pentach were blessed with a wee little girl. In the burning hot summer of 1975, one little boy moved down to Wales from Scotland. Oh, look, another little shit. Like two wee peas in a pod, the two little shits bonded and formed a mischievous union, leaving a trail of destruction and mayhem in their wake. Until one day... From here on in, baby, there's only one thing you need to know. And that thing is me. It's all about the love, baby. Come with me now, and let's live happily ever after. I love you, and you love me. Years came and years went, and decades passed as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves here in the banking hall at Portland House. Being a best man is a huge privilege for any little shit. And in this case, the honour is particularly magnified by the fact that from 1989 until Christmas Eve 2013, the two little shits and Ross have barely crossed paths. This means, however, that there is a whopping grey area from 1989 to the present day. In order to fill this abyss, one little shit came up with a cunning plan. He individually telephoned Tony and Roz via his recording studio desk, secretly recording every single word. Needless to say, absolutely none of these private conversations are remotely publishable. However, the little shit remembered Tony's words. If in doubt, make it up. Just that. Absolutely make it up. 
And so, being a clever little shit, he managed to edit their words, rearrange their thoughts, and conjure a new conversation. Tony and Roz, in their own words, edited by the best man, Jonathan Gregory. The first thing he ever said to me was... Page three. <laughs> to which I was like, sorry? I want a topless modelling job in the um, in page three, in the sun. So he's like, oh, OK, orcs. Although I did have the big tits, so I was all right. <laughs> Little gems. <laughs> so Tony was uh, my... Um, my introduction to decent... Photography. Obviously completely illegal and underage and everything else. And that was when I became cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so I did a portfolio for all these topless shots. <laughs> and I'm like, this is brilliant. That was it. So I don't think he ever did ask me out, really. So I've, t- I've taken all these pictures, right? Printed them all and everything. I've, I've, somewhere I've still got them all. I don't know where, but I've still got them somewhere. Oh, <laughs> you got me welling up now. And then he used to do this thing. He would, like, suck himself. Probably around the time that I was about 16. Yeah, well, I, I do have to hold my hand up and feel partly responsible, <laughs> I have to admit. Innocent, all that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, there it is, trumpet. You'd be well armed. Yeah, that is one of my many claims to fame. <laughs> yeah, where did it all go wrong? Uh <laughs> Like, all just used to wear, like, short sleeve white shirts and, and trousers, and that was it, right? So I saved up and bought myself a suit, and I used to wear a suit every day, right? So then I obviously didn't have much to do with him because I, I thought he was a bit of a cock. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. I don't think it was anything to do with my photos. I think Anyway, it was... I ignored Mr Tony, maybe, until the whole Brian Adams thing came about. Yeah, which is in a wine bar down the bay. It was the 80s, obviously, which is, which is great, you know, because obviously I had a reputation of it by then, quite, quite big. Uh, <laughs> at some point, I'm not sure when, but at some point I decided that... You were gay. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I went along, I got very, very drunk, um, and we uh, made the announcement, went to the pub, got hammered. <laughs> And uh, there was me and uh, Tony and Brian Adams. Tony used to be in the corner, then me, then then. Yeah, let's not go into too many details about. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> take any of it as, as set in stone because I honestly can't remember a thing. <laughs> if in doubt, make it up. Just absolutely make it up. If in doubt, make it up. Yeah, rock DJ. If in doubt, make it up. Just absolutely make it up. If in doubt, make it up. Yeah, rock DJ. Yeah, rock DJ. So working on the lights. Yeah, rock DJ. Yeah, 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 Rock DJ. So working on the lights. Yeah, rock DJ. Yeah, rock DJ. And you used to practice in that classroom off the third year common room. Practice in that classroom off the third year common room. Practice in that classroom off the third year common room. Yeah. Sort of complicated, <laughs> technologically difficult stuff to do. Complicated, technologically difficult stuff to do. If in doubt, make it up. Just absolutely make it up. If in doubt, make it up. Yeah, rock DJ. Yeah, 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 Tony maybe Show me what it is
do. Yeah, you know you're not. Finished and I'm done. Then you do, yeah. You make your mind. Give out number ten. Give out number ten. Give out number ten. Let's put it to me there again. Give out number ten. Give out number ten. Give out number ten. Let's put it to me there again. Mr. Tony maybe changed my life. Yeah. Mr. Tony maybe. Yeah. Rock DJ. Mr. Tony maybe. Changed my life, Mr. Tony. Maybe, yeah. And you used to practice in that classroom of the third year common room. Practice in that classroom of the third year common room. Practice in that classroom of the third year common room. Show me where did he go? Back to the club, you know. Where did he go? What did he do? He practiced in the classroom. Where did he go? What did he do? He practiced in the classroom. Where did he go? What did he do? He practiced in the classroom. Did he get back? Where did he go? What did he do? He practiced in the classroom. Did he get back? Where did he go? What did he do? He practiced in the classroom. Was it up to the door? What did he do? He practiced in the classroom. Roz is the one, is the one. Roz is the one, is the one, one. Roz is the one, is the one. Roz is the one, is the one, one, one. Roz is the one, is the one. Roz is the one, is the one, one. Roz is the one, is the one. Yeah, right. Roz is the one, is the one, one, one.